Hi, in this video, we're going to be going over the May 2024 exam for applications and interpretation, IB, question one. All right, so this is a question about mean, median, mode, and range. And so this is not too hard. It's a good question one. I'm going to show you how to do it manually, and I'm going to show you how to do it with the TI-84. So let's get started. So if asked for the mean, so here we have six data points. In order to find the mean, we have to add the numbers up and divide by the number of numbers. And now um, one thing I do want to mention is that on the IB exam, showing your work is just as valuable, if not more valuable, than actually coming up with the right answer. So as much as it might seem a little bit tedious sometimes to write things down, write things down. Especially if you make a mistake, this is going to be a game changer for you. All right, so we have six numbers. So in order to enter this into the calculator, and this is the, the manual way, but we're still using the calculator, Make sure to open your parentheses and close your parentheses and then divide by six. That way you can just do this in one shot. Once you've done that, you should get that your answer is 1.96 meters. And you want to be very clear and show your answer so that no one has to look for it. All right, so now the median. The median is the middle number when the numbers are arranged in order. So these numbers, not quite arranged in order. So let's start by doing that. Our smallest number is 1.6, followed by 1.67, then 1.68, then 2.19, and 2.31 and another 2.31. So you might notice, I did say it's the middle number, but you might notice since there's six numbers, there is no middle number. There are three numbers are to the left, three numbers are to the right. The median is going to be in between those two middle numbers since there is not a single middle number. And so in order to find that median, you average those two middle numbers. So we have 1.68 and you add it to 2.19. Those are the values of our two middle numbers. And divide by two, since we're averaging two numbers. And once you do that, you get your median equal to two, sorry, 1.935. And again, you don't want your grader to have to look for it, so make sure it's very clear on your page. All right, now that was actually A2. Now let's do A3. So the modal height just means the mode. And you may recall that mode is the number that appears most frequently in the list of numbers. And so we can see that 2.31 is in our data set twice. So that, so that is going to be our mode. So we can just write that down, no calculations needed, no work to be shown. And for four, the range is going to be the maximum value. So that's that highest value minus the minimum value. And our maximum value we know is 2.31. That's the highest value. Let's write that, 2.31. And the lowest number or minimum is 1.6. So when you subtract those numbers from each other, you get that the range is 0 0.71 meters. All right, so now the final part, part B. It says write down the shortest possible height of this person. Now that makes no sense standing alone. These IB questions, you'll notice that there's going to be sometimes a little standalone section, and that usually goes with what comes afterwards. So a new player joins the team, and their height is measured as 1.98 meters to the nearest centimeters. So this is a rounded number. And the question is asking, what's the smallest possible number that could round to that? And so we want this number to round to 198. And so it's going to probably be one, something smaller because it can round up. So it's going to be 197 point something. But 197.1, 197.2, 3, or 4 does not round up. The smallest number that rounds up to 198 is 197.5. So that is what we're looking for. And that is our answer. Make sure you indicate clearly that that is the answer that we're looking for. 
Okay, so yes, we finished the question, but I do want to give you another tool just in case you wanted to use your TI-84 to complete this question. Here's how. All right, so we know this is a statistics question. When you are in a statistics question, you go ahead and you press stats to get started. First, we need to get our numbers into our list. And so in order to do that, we have to edit the list. So press enter. This is going to look slightly different from your TI-84, but hopefully it is close enough where you get the point. All right, so I just entered my numbers in to save a bit of time. 1.67, 1.6, so on and so forth. So once you have your numbers in, you press stat again, and now we're going to press the right button over to go to calculate. Now there's only one variable in this set of data, and so I'm going to enter one of our stats. I press enter. There are no frequencies. If you had a frequency table, you would have to put something here, but we don't. And so we press enter again, and we get everything we need. All right, and so we already have these numbers, but notice that there is an X bar. X bar is the mean. And notice there is something MED. MED is, you guessed it, the median. The calculator does not give mode. Um, it does give the max and minimum, but you can see that from the list. So that's not really that helpful here. And yeah, and so this is how you use your calculator to help save time, especially if the list is long. All right.